These are instructions on how to create a resume and how to edit. This upper portion will have your first and last name. It will have your PO box or your home address or it can have both on the same section here. The next part will have your city, your state, and your zip code. This should be Planada or Grand, capital C, capital A is the only right way that you're gonna put the state. And it will have your current Gmail address for the high school. Your objective, you will put together an objective on this section. That will be the first thing you put. The objective here will be one that you can create you can Google it, look for objectives on Google, and try to find the best one to fit your choice of career or position. The next section is going to have qualities and skills. You will put the next section here. Make sure your topics are all the same font, the same, if they're bold, they all need to be bold. If these are larger than your regular font here, then make them larger. I would suggest you make these bold, underlined, or just bold, and maybe a two sizes larger than your regular font here. For example, this is a size 11 font, and you want to keep this probably a size 12 font, just to make it stand out. Now, here you're going to put your skills and qualities. Do not exceed more than 12. Okay. This section here, you can put bullets if you would like. And the way you do that is you go here and you click bullets and then enters the bullets. Now, the thing about this is that you can't put bullets on two sections here but you can do this you go to bullets you click this bullet here you click that bullet there you go to the next one you go to the next one you go to the next one and these will not be bulleted you probably do not want that you want to do probably a couple bullets on the side and then you highlight it hold the left button click and you can drag to that section. Oops, it didn't do it on mine. But it will on yours. There's somebody created this resume. So you will highlight, the, you do the bullets, highlight, and then you grab, hold the left mouse, put it here, and it will drop it and put the bullets on that side. It won't do it here, but trust me, it will on yours. All right, so that's for the skills and qualities. You could leave only qualities, you could leave only skills, you could put both, skills and qualities. I would prefer you putting both. Next is the experience. On this, you're going to start with the more recent experience. You're going to put the month and year of when you started this, and then the month and year of when you finish. So, for example, let's say this person started this job July 2011 and finished August 2012. Then the name of the company, address of the company, city state of the company, and the phone number of this company. Okay, so now in this section you could put who you work for, the supervisor's name, not mandatory. This is choice. So if you want to put first and last name, you put it. Otherwise, do not put anybody's name down at all. Next section here, you're going to have duties. And this, you want to make sure you bold. And then you put what you did. So you're going to have the same thing on both here. So you will have 
that. Same thing with this one. You want to make sure you put when you start it. For example, this might be June 2009. And it could, you could have ended June 2010. So remember, this is first. Look, this is more recent. This is previous. Look at the dates and the years. So once again, name of the company, address of the company, city state of the company, and phone number of the company, including area code. Remember that you have to have a comma after the city, and then capital C, capital A for the state. It's the only right way that you I will accept it. Now, achievements. Everybody has had some achievements in their life. So you will put at minimum of three. So you can have these three achievements. Once again, you can do bullets if you want. You highlight them on, it'll do the bullets for you. You do not want to do bullets on your work history here. Because it'll it's just too many bullets. You don't want to have your resume with too many bullets and you people lose you know interest in it the next thing you're gonna have is your education name of your high school city state and zip code of your high school and when you plan to graduate so you wanna make sure you put that information here and when you're gonna to plan to graduate what month and year Okay, name of high school, city, state, zip code of high school, and graduation pending what month and year. Pending means it's waiting to happen. Now, if you do a second page on a resume, this is your header. You copy and paste that right here. It has to be identical. I will not accept one that has a header that's this way and then a header over here that's different. They both have to be the same. You will title this on the top section here, References, and you could make this font large. Look at this one, this one's a 36. You don't have to have the colon, so this would be good like that. You can put three references here, and at this point, you do not have to ask these people if they can be your reference, okay? Um, because this is our practice resume so we're not gonna not put references because you still have to ask people we do not have to ask at this point the people if it's okay with them so for this person this person put name okay so miss Bigelow and make sure if you don't know if they're married or not you put MS it's your safest bet last name their job title where they work the name of the place where they work city state and zip code of where they work I'm sorry address of where they work city state and zip code of where they work and the phone number where we can contact this person now you see three of the same names here I want you guys to make sure you put three different people as your references. Now, if you put a different person here, for example, the best person to put would be somebody that you've done work for. Somebody such as your teacher who you work for as a TA, the office managers if you work in the office, if you've worked in the fields during the summer, if you've done community service for somebody, if you work with a teacher over the summer, if you're working now, you could put somebody as, such as your coworker, any of the same thing. So example, if I work at Carlos Jr., I'm going to put Miss or Mr., last name. If they work at Carlos Jr., maybe they're cashier, I would put cashier here. I know they work at Carl's Jr. I go to Carl's Jr. there. The address, city, state, here, and the phone number of Carl's Jr. here. And I would do the same thing for the third one. Minimum three, maximum four references. No less than two. If 
you have less than two, we will not accept it. So minimum three references. So this will be your reference page. So once again, header, title, three references. Header, the objective, qualities and skills, experience, achievements, education, and that will be how you create a resume.